Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Jessie on Globe. It's that time of the year where you are all gearing up to ring in the new year. In this episode, I am going to share with you some new year traditions from cultures across the globe. At the end of this video, I am sure you are going to be surprised at how different celebrations are worldwide. It varies between different religions and the different calendars such as the lunar calendar, solar calendar and the lunisolar calendar. In India, each region has its own unique way of celebrating the Lunar New Year. It essentially marks the beginning of the new agricultural season. It goes by the name of Putandu in Tamil Nadu, Baisakhi in Punjab, Gudi Padwa in Maharashtra, Ugadi in AP Telangana, Karnataka, Vishu in Kerala, Bohok Bihu in Assam, Pohila Baisakhi in by Bengalis, Chetti Chan by Sindhis and Sangren in Northeast. Next we have the Gregorian New Year which is celebrated on the 1st of January. It is marked by making resolutions for new beginnings by display of fireworks and having parties with friends and family. The New York Times Square is the mecca for New Year's Eve revelers who come down in millions to witness the drop of Paul. Next is the Chinese New Year celebrated on the 1st of February. The exact date of this lunar New Year changes each year. Different ethnicities of China celebrate it in their own unique way. Usually they have this spring festival couplet that is hung around the entrance of the house. They are poetry lines bearing wishes for good health, fortune and luck. Firework is lit to ward off evil spirit. Houses are decluttered and cleaned up. There is this platter of sweet called as a tray of togetherness put out for house visitors. Then they have this red envelopes called as Hong Bao, which is filled with money and handed out to friends and family. Navroz marks the first month of the Iranian solar calendar, which roughly falls on 21st of March. It is also called as Iranian or Parsi New Year. Navroz means New Day in Farsi. It commences on the spring equinox which marks the rebirth of nature. There is poetry is recited, uh, bonfire is lit, there is folk music performed to ward off sorrow and darkness. Songkran is celebrated across Thailand between 13 to 15 April according to the Buddhist calendar. Water is at its center. It is known, it is considered to wash away bad luck. Younger people visit their elders and they wash their elders' hands and feet as a mark of respect. On a more commercial side, you can see people adding water over each other across the street. Moharram marks the first month of the Islamic calendar. It is celebrated on the 10th day of the month, the day of Ashura. The emphasis is on remembrance, self-reflection and gratitude. Moharram means forbidden. On this day, people celebrate this holiday by doing prayers, by visiting mosques and spending time with family. Enkutatash is the Ethiopian New Year. It follows the solar calendar of 12 months of 30 days and the 13th month of 5 or 6 days. Enkutatash also means the gift of jewels. There is the story of Queen of Sheba who returns home after a trip. Enkutatash celebration lasts for a week and is mostly family centered. It typically marks the end of the rainy season in Ethiopia where the yellow daisy flowers start to show up across the countryside. Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year according to the Hebrew lunar calendar. It's a period of reflection, atone for wrongdoing and forgiveness. A chauffeur, ram's horn trumpet is blown before and during the Rosh Hashanah. It is a call to inspire for soul searching and growth for the year ahead. Symbolic food is the center point of the celebration. Pomegranate seeds are eaten during this during this period for, for, uh, for a year of good deed. In Spain, people start off the new year by eating 12 grapes which symbolize each strike of the clock. It is believed 
to ward off evil spirit and and bring in luck for the year ahead the trick is you should manage to eat all the 12 grapes within a matter of few seconds before the clock strikes midnight in japan people kick off the new year by eating a warm bowl of soba noodle it's a long tradition where buddhist temple used to hand out noodles to the poor because soba noodles are long thin and firm yet easy to bite it symbolizes that you are literally breaking away from the deeds of the past year there is also this tradition of buddhist temple ringing in bells 108 times the number represents the number of human desires according to the buddhist religion that is cause for pain and suffering when you ring the bell it is said to dispel all the suffering of the last year in philippines on new year's eve families make sure to serve 12 round fruits like apples grapes and plums it represents prosperity due to the shape of the fruit like a coin and each fruit represents a month of the year in greece the tradition is to hang onion outside the door onion symbolizes fertility and growth in turkey as the clock strikes midnight people sprinkle salt on the doorstep doing this invites prosperity and peace all year round so what is your new year ritual i think the best part of celebration is that it never has to be the same you should celebrate the end of the year and the beginning of the next one in a truly unique way so go ahead spread some love around make some noise or simply soak in some quiet contemplative time happy new year to all